This week's show has been made possible with the continued support of Alpha Affiliates, where webmasters can earn up to 50% rev share. Well, I tell you what, just when you think spring has finally arrived, old man winter jumps up and bites you right in the ass. How do, boys and girls, and thanks for streaming another edition of APCW Perspectives. It's good for my ego, you know, that you keep watching, and it's good for my bank account that I'm still employed. So, I do appreciate it, and after I film this show, I will be taking off for a week and heading to warmer climates. Yeah, I know. I just got back from the United Kingdom a few weeks ago, but a short vacation is good for my ego, you know, and, and good for my court-ordered community service. But that's a different story. So, no show next week. Now, I know there's been a lot of interest from affiliates about the new online gambling market in Ontario. And, truth has it, estimates are that the activity there will make the province about 60 million U.S. dollars over the next three years. Well, there's that total, and, and then there's the new total of 60 million 78 thousand dollars as Ontario regulators have already fined two operators over advertising failures. Well, that didn't take long, did it? One month, one month after launching, the Alcohol and Gaming Commission issued a $30,000 fine to PointsBet and a $48,000 fine to BetMGM as both operators allegedly violated the Register Standard for Internet Gaming Sections 2.04 and 2.05. All right. Bet MGM offered a launch contest with a first place prize of $100,000 and a chance to win free spins simply by following them on Twitter. Those bastards. Then, PointsBet put advertisements on trains and products offering free play during the month of April. What sort of sick shit is that? No worries, though, as Ontario authorities were Johnny on the spot and put a quick end to that crap. So, if you're an affiliate, and you're interested in Ontario, my advice to you is proceed with caution. Even better, when I return from my community service of uh, vacation, I'm gonna publish my interview with Income Access that I filmed in London about the Ontario situation and how they can help webmasters navigate these difficult things. Yeah. Before I head off on my vacation, I did want to welcome yet another new APCW member. This time, it's the AF Gold Affiliate Program with no admin fees and up to 50% revenue share plus no activity quota. You can learn more about them on their APCW review page or visit them directly at AFGold.com. That's AFFGold.com. 
Also, longtime APCW members every game have a new special for their webmasters to promote the $120,000 flower power bonus contest with $30,000 in weekly prizes, weekly drawings for $500, and a final draw for $1,000. This special runs right now through May 31st, so visit their site for details, creatives, or to sign up at affiliate.everygame.eu. Okay, so one last story before I go, and again, it centers around regulators. This time, instead of Ontario, and instead of the United Kingdom, the news comes from the Netherlands. The Dutch Gaming Authority is passing out warnings to all operators for not doing enough to prevent money laundering and terrorist financing. Currently, it seems that operators in the Netherlands are only conducting checks on customers who deposit 2,500 euro or more in a month. And regulators say that number is just way too high, but did not suggest a lower rate, a more acceptable rate, as far as I could tell. Additionally, unusual gambling transactions must be reported within 14 days, because, you know, Al-Qaeda can't withdraw funds that quickly. And I'm not trying to make light of terrorism, of course. But, I have been in this industry over 20 years, and for 20 years I've heard about these alleged ties between online gambling and terrorism, and to the best of my failing memory, there has never been a confirmed link between terrorist activity and online casinos. Please do correct me if I'm wrong, send me an email, I'll get it when I get back from my community survey-cation, yes. And I'll talk about it on May 20th. I dare you to find one. Go ahead. Go ahead. I dare you. See you when I get back. God willing. No bloopers this week. Yeah. Yeah, now I could make up a blooper, but that would not be cricket. And uh, I just don't do that sort of thing, you know. It's just it's not my thing. It's just uh, the, 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 the. Well, there you go. You got a blooper of me telling you there were no more bloopers. Huh.